Right, I'm doing a, a curve as shown on the map. Um, stage four of, of the journey. What I do, I go down here and then there's like a sharp bend. Um, it's called Flora's Ride. Again, once again, named after members of the Holnicott family. Um, I'm, when I get down here a bit, I will see a bench. And that's when I turn right, I think. It's quite warm, actually, when the sun's out. There were some people, first time I've seen any. I mean, they might know a quick way to the church. I mean, what I'm doing might be the scenic view, and it takes longer. <clears throat> I mean, I noticed that with um, when I did a bit of the Coleridge walk. God, you think to yourself, God, I could walk, I could have walked this in half the time if I'd gone up on the top from A to B. Because what it does, it makes you follow. It makes you follow. Right, hold on a minute. There's a post there and there's a short turn in there. But you can't, you, you've got to be careful not to take the wrong turn in. Right, wait a minute. Let me just read that bit again. Take the next path on your right just before a bench on your left. Ah, this is it then. Let's just go over to this bench a minute. Like, okay, the only thing they don't do is here is distances. They do an overall distance, but they don't actually give you a distance. <sighs> right, there's the bench. Let's just sit there for a minute. I bet my sister sat on this bench. <sighs> so take the next path on your right, just before bench on your left. This is a sharp right turn. Now heading back towards the beacon. Shortly, at convergence of paths, keep ahead on the right fork to transverse the hill. <sighs> Alright, so we're at stage four. How many stages are there? There's only seven stages, by the way, to the church. <sighs> See, there are people up on the top route. They might know a quick way there. Anyway, this is um, this is called Flora's Ride, I think. You are now on Flora's Ride, named after Flora Ackland. Yeah, the Ackland family, that's right. Many of the paths in Horner Woods are named after the Ackland family members or visitors. Dickie's Path, which you will walk later, was named after Sir Richard Ackland. Yeah, no, we're right at the moment. We're doing well. We're doing well at the moment. The gods are being good to me, allowing... Right, now, wait a minute. It didn't did say shortly. Wait a minute. Take... This is now heading back towards the beacon. Shortly, at a convergence of paths, keep ahead on the right fork. Now, there's a convergence of paths, right? Keep ahead, yeah, keep ahead. So don't go wandering off down there, in other words. I have got a de more detailed map, by the way, if I did get lost. I have got a more detail. And anyway, I'd, I'd, if I really got lost, I'd make my way to the beacon. I'd know, I'd make my way to that path, that, that track in the distance, that silver snake. <sighs> what I've done is a series of small videos that might seem a bit disjointed, everyone, but... I have to stop for if it's too windy for the camera or um, it looks a bit boring and I need to have a break or I need to take photos. So we're only on four. We've got to get to seven, I think I said. Seven. 
yeah, we're on we're on the floor a bit at the moment, going across there on Granny's, coming up to Granny's ride. In a minute, and then that'll be number five. Then six is Stoke Perro. It looks to me like Stoke Perro is either six or five. You can see that cloud moving very fast and very wet. Look at it. Fortunately for me at the moment, this beautiful blue sky, but ahead you can see the rain clouds moving very, very fast. They're full of water. It's quite spooky actually the way they're moving. It might get wet in a minute, I reckon. Might get wet in a minute. Oh God, look at it. Yeah, starting to, uh, I'm going to have to put the camera away any minute, folks. Just turn off for a minute and take a photo. I've got no idea what um, video this is because I'm doing lots of small ones. Look at this lovely wood though. I've taken some images of it. You know, it's lovely. Lovely gnarled, full of lichen, show of health, even though they look a bit worn. It's actually a sign of beauty. And um, I'm going down into the woods now, down the track, and following this, this particular walk that I'm following by this man is very, very good at the moment. I'm following it exactly, and everything's in place like he said it is. Everything. So folks, this is the this is Exmoor. Beautiful trees. Look at them glistening in the sunshine. We've been blessed with a little bit of sunlight and blue sky, which helps the photography, which I wasn't expecting. I'm sheltered from the wind a little bit as I go down through this old track. I think I'm going to reach a bridge in a minute. And um, so the video is always a bit better when you're out of the wind. But these trees are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? In a minute I'll come to a junction. Turn left indicated by a blue arrow. Ignoring the small path that is sharp left down to Dills, down Yale's Coombe. Ignoring the small foot, isn't it? Right, so blue arrow down Yale Coombe. See, that could get you muddled up. You, th you think, oh, don't go down Yale Coombe. You know, it depends where the comma is. Turn left, indicate with blue arrow down Yale Coombe. But ignore the small path that is sharp left. Now I put that on the end. See? Soon the path splits. Take the left, lower fork, signed Horner Water. Yeah, we're not on Granny's ride yet. We're still on Flora's ride at the moment. And it's very, very beautiful, everyone. Very, very beautiful indeed. I'm so happy that the weather, the clouds have kept up high for us. Because from the weather forecast this morning, and it might come yet, as long as I get to the church, I don't mind really if I have to get cover up for the return journey. I have got clothes to put on. Um, I have got clothes. I just got to be a bit careful here. Got to follow the blue arrow. Right, wait a minute. I come to a junction. Like this is a junction. That looks like a blue arrow, doesn't it, everyone? Look. Blue arrow pointing that way. All right, we just read again. Turn left indicated with the blue arrow. Ignoring the small path that is sharp left. All right, so he's got all that down to a T, hasn't he? Soon the path splits, which it does. Take the left lower fork, 
signed Horner's Wood. Now that is not a um, that noise is not a bull, it's not a deer or a stag. It's a man with a chainsaw. God, look at that. These beautiful woods, everyone. Hello, woods. Hi, woods. And you beautiful. Now, it's supposed to show it down Yilkoom. Right, hold on a minute. I think I've got to ignore this. Wait a minute. Go back, Sheila. This is what I mean about that comma getting in the way. Right, so we've come. You see, what I was thinking... No, it's got to be, but it's not signposted, look. First failure of the walk. Soon the path splits takes a left lower fork. Now was that that path I was supposed to ignore, this one, or... No, it's what I'm reading like it says. Or is it up there? God, it wasn't signposted. This is where you can get go wrong, you know, because it could be that that first left was... I don't know if I should be up there, see? This is where it goes wrong, you see? No sign, no sign. So there's a path up there. And there's this one. Ignore the small path that is sharp left. Soon the path splits takes the left lower fork signed Horner Wood. Well, it wasn't signed Horner Wood. Right, everyone, I'm going to turn off now, take some photos. I expect it to resolve itself. Otherwise, I'll have to backtrack to that blue arrow. Over and out.